Yeah. What's up? It's Tino Fest 1989. I'm back. Do a little video re a brief from my Monday Night Raw review. And before saying that, or Ring Origins or Nine, I'm not hating on you. You're making me mad. That's the reason why. I started bashing on you because you telling me shit like that. You was gonna, you threatening me and my family like that. You know it's bullshit. You know, but like, uh, just because of one thing, because of the John Cena. So what? You gotta get over that shit. And um, Wolverine Origins, you got no life, man. For just saying stupid shit be true about the John Cena shit. That shit gets old already. Like I said, it's for a little thing you're gonna complain about. Anyways, enough about that. Yeah, my Monday Night Raw um, review. It was Edge, the opening Raw. He confronts the Sheamus, and all of a sudden, after six months he missed from the WWE, he's back, and he thought he would never come back from that injury. He thought it was going to be a year, or maybe longer. And all of a sudden, Sheamus came out and told him, you know, he, he did something that Edge never did, beating Randy Orton and beating um um John Cena. Um and Edge came up and told him he looked like Ronald McDonald with the red hair and a pale skin. He looked like the evil Ronald McDonald. Which was funny, you know. I actually laughed and I saw it. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm, right now I'm not in the mood to laugh and having a good time. I just want to do a video. And then Shaman was beating him down. He was beating him down and Edge came up and speared the shit out of him. Which was awesome. Edge, you know, Edge bring the energy back. And, alright, the match, the next, and the first match was John Cena versus... Cody Rhodes in a qualifying match to determine the elimination chamber match. Um, John Cena, what he did, you know, pretty much the same thing. And he um, did his F STFU and then he won and that's pretty much it. And the next match was Triple H versus Jack Swagger for the determined to the elimination chamber. Yep, another world champion won the match. And Triple H didn't do much. Jack Swagger did more of the work. And all of a sudden, Triple H just beat him with a pedigree. How easy is that? Psst. Let me see. What's next? Um, Ted DiBiase versus Mark Henry. Um, Ted DiBiase. Yeah, it was a boring match. At least something, something new, you know, a new, a new star is coming to Elimination Chamber. That tells you a lot, you know. And I think there's gonna be the beginning of the face turn of Ted DiBiase on the Elimination Chamber. I think he's gonna, what he's gonna do is gonna fuck over Randy Orton, and he might pin Randy Orton, and he gets eliminated. That's what I'm thinking. And Ted DiBiase. Is gonna be bring that big push already. And the other match was Randy Orton versus Shawn Michaels. You know, I was hoping for Shawn Michaels to win, but all of a sudden, Randy Orton pick up the win. Yes, Randy Orton is going to the Elimination Chamber, which is you know pretty much the same shit, but. Hey, at least it was a good match. I ain't gonna lie. They had good chemistry with each other. And Shawn Michaels was disappointed. And you know how he felt last in the last in the Royal Rumble pay per view. He felt like that. He felt like he was didn't want to talk. He didn't want to say a word. And you know what I'm thinking? They said there's gonna be a triple threat match for the tag team titles. There's gonna be DX, uh, the straight edge, uh, straight edge sex uh, sex society. CM Punk and Luke Gallows and the Miz and Big Show. You know what, I, what I'm thinking? Shawn Michaels gonna turn heel and do the switching music on Triple H and walk away. And 
this guy's gonna pick up the win. Um, my opinion, in my in my in my prediction is gonna be CM Punk and Luke Gallows winning the tag team titles. Uh, that's what I'm I'm predicting. And yeah, and this guest host William Shatner. Yeah, he posted that day. like I said, William Shatner booked that match. You know, he did a good job booking that match. Well, he was funny in, in the segments. You know, the whole singing with the DX. I know the Triple H theme song, the uh, Shawn Michaels. It was kind of boring, but hey, you gotta enjoy it. You know, Monday Night Raw. It, it, he was enjoying the show, so he really liked. He really had fun being a Raw go with guest host. But I like him a guest host. You know, they have fun and bring their show. You know, they know what they're doing. He at least enjoyed the show. And the next match was Kofi Kingston versus The Big Show, in the qualifying match. And Kofi Kingston came in and had a match, and then Big Show got mad, and all of a sudden, because the whole thing with the Miz, and and he got and he knocked out the ref, he knocked out the ref, and as soon as he knocked out the ref, he called it disqualification, and there Kofi Kingston picked up that win. He's determined to the elimination chamber. He, I, I believe he was the final guy to, to determine for the elimination chamber. And yep, um. This guy, William Shatner, came in the ring. Jerry the King Lawler host him to come. And all of a sudden, William Shatner host told Bret the Hemming Hart to come back. And all of a sudden, Bret Hart came back, which it was great. You know, he really pretty much saved more. He saved the show even more. Bret Hart made a mic. You uh, was talking about Vince McMahon to come there. And Vince McMahon said, you know, you're nothing. You're, you're, you're just... Use uh, uh, that gum, that split of the gum is wasted, and Bret Hart's there, you know, talking about this. And all of a sudden, when he told when he told his dad that he's not gonna be inducted to the Hall of Fame, he flipped out and punched him and attacked him, and he got so pissed he was gonna do the sharpshooter. All of a sudden, a surprise coming, Batista, which I was mad, but it brings a storyline. And all of a sudden, when Batista holding him in the arms, he spit at Bret Hart's face. And after the bell, it was John Cena who came in the ring and saved Bret Hart. That was like after the bell one. That was, that was not televised. Um, yeah, and that's all. That's all that pretty much happened. And by the way, rest in peace, um, Jack Briscoe. He was one. Of the, he's the oldest brother of Gerald Briscoe. I met Gerald Briscoe personally. Jack Briscoe passed away at age 40, uh, 68. I don't know how he causes death, and you know he was he was a great tag team wrestler and a singles wrestler. You know he would be truly missed. Yeah, and Raw was what I give a Raw rating. I give it a seven out of ten. It was a, a great, a good show because Bret Hart saved the show for us. Yeah, and I, I like the Raw show. It was enjoyable to watch and William Shatner. And next week's our guest host will be um Carl Edwards. Well, I'm not going to enjoy it, but whatever, you know. At least I watched it for once. Fuck it. Alright, guys. Take it easy.